A child approaches an ADC with Predator and Biscuit delivery, truly a portable document file of all time. Poor Annie, she clearly didn't know the dangers of approaching such a creature, it was a comment that genuinely made me giggle a bit, but I'm going to stop elaborating on this before the demonetization police come, but because you made Y guy laugh, I think everyone knows that you deserve this cookie. Since Lord Wydra has picked up Maogai this patch, I have tried cooking which I thought was a weird build but turned out to be pretty broken consisting of even shroud and mandate, what are your thoughts on this build? That's a brutal build you got there, making your friends follow up even more deadly, I believe it could work if you're not the primary frontline for your team, but without deadmans, you're going to be pretty slow, I'll keep this build in mind and test it in the future. That Victor trying to fight the AI just to kill Caitlyn and die to Nar, but to be honest, I've been facing scripters at our server currently Diamond 1, been with and have faced the same two guys who keeps on name changing. True, the upper echelon of our server is flooded with them, imagine playing Pike against them, good luck landing your skill shots, that's why Y guy's been playing Maokai and Ash as a safety precaution because you never know when you'll face a scripter. But honestly, I kinda don't mind them, not all abilities in the game can be dodged, plus them relying solely on their script, dulls their macro game like how the victor played last episode. A special shout out to Eternal Rogue for the super thanks donation last episode, I was surprised to taste that little saltiness on our wet bread last night, it was you all along, and for that, the production team sends their deepest regards, hail Wydra. Why guy can't really do anything in the bot lane with how safe his lane opponents are playing, though I must say, unlike Lord Wydra's usual playstyle of endlessly trying to fight to establish a lead, it's somewhat nice to just chill from time to time. Well, one thing is certain. That victor is definitely not scripting. Where did the rat go? Also, my sincerest apologies to Lucian, Why guy was a little late on unleashing his ultimate, I was waiting for Twitch to flash but it appears that he was saving it for next game. Still, my bad.
Imagine three Lucians running straight at you, that must have been traumatizing for Victor. Anyways, with both Executioner's Calling and Serpent's Fang, Y Guy's anti Yumi build is finally complete. Some of you might say that this is a little overkill to build these items so early in the game, well for the decimation of e-girls, the teachings of Wydra would tell you otherwise. Upon spotting the rat riding cat in the mid lane, Y Guy quickly responds. Pinging the exact location of the enemy bot lane, but seeing his friends not paying attention, Y Guy uses his arrow to point to their adversary's previous location. With Y Guy taking away Yumi's ability to heal and shield her allies, just like every house cat, she's become nothing but deadweight for her team. I see, you value your life, in-game, more than carrying out Wydra's purpose. That's a shame. What a nightmare of a game, for Yumi that is, and for every enchanter that Lord Wydra's Ash would face. Well, as long as there aren't any assassins on the enemy team. <laughs>